Hey, what's up, everybody? Before I show you guys what I picked up here at Goodwill, anyways, um, I found a good website that gives all the specs on it and what this thing originally went for, which was definitely not ten bucks. <laughs> a lot more than that, as it looks like these dang things have always been expensive as all hell. So nice freaking score, even if it's an older one. But let's say it was well taken care of. Even the remote's still in really good shape. The wise, um, I say, good site gives us specs and stuff. And then also, I was able to find the owner's manual online for this in PDF form. Just went by the uh, name, brand, and the model number, and then the word manual, and <laughs> had a few sites come up, so I just picked the easiest one to download from and got one for free. Which, fortunately, in the manual, it gives the model number for the lamp in this thing. Hence, I don't know if it's got the original lamp in it still or not. It's pretty much all in Japanese. So, you got me. <laughs> if one of you guys has one of these and that's the way it was, okay, then it's original and I'm just lucky because it's only supposed to last, according to the book, 2,000 hours. And after doing some research, it sounds like that 2,000 hours is if you're in a big room set up as a theater and you've got your ginormous screen to where you have to have that lamp set on high brightness to throw the big image. Otherwise, everybody's saying that's had it just left on the low, just to use like in the living room or whatever, or not a ginormous screen, have been able to get away with about 5,000 hours. And I was noticing that on some of the other projectors they were listing on a Panasonic site when I tried to look this up. So we'll see. Because this one right now, it says it's about at 3,200 hours that this thing is RAM. And you can reset that, so maybe they replaced the lamp and forgot to reset it on the timer. Otherwise, cool enough, man. <laughs> cool enough. I'm not going to be using it all the time, it's just occasionally when I have a whim to kick it out of my deck and set up my little movie theater. Watch porn, freak out the neighbors, whatever. So, here are the specs. Anyways, it's a Panasonic PT L300U projector. Came out 2003, and you're saying last ship 2004, so it wasn't out very long. MSRP price in U.S. denomination, $2,799. Or no, <laughs> no way would I pay that much. But 10 bucks good. And uh, brightness, 800 lumens, contrast, 800 by 1 or something. Resolution, 960 by 540. Native aspect ratio, 16 by 9. WVGA, color processing 8-bit. Uh, who cares about size, man, I'll just show the damn thing to you. It's big, but not that big. I mean, it's a decent size. The weight of it is 6.4 pounds. Video modes are 720p, 1080i, 525i, 525p, 625i, 480p, and 480i. Which on that, uh, the, the highest <laughs> level of resolution I've hooked up to this thing is the DVD. So 480p or 480i, and it looked damn good. So anything above that's got to be smoking, man. I mean, a damn good, sharp picture. Very surprising for a projector. Let's say lamp life, 2,000 hours. Lamp type UHM, or uh, um, whatever the freaking hell that means. Wattage, 120 watts for the lamp. Only has one lamp. Display type, 0.70. I guess three inch LCD, maybe. I might be right. <laughs> I don't know. Even if you take the lamp out of, you can't see the little LCD screen. So I, I don't know how big it is, but you got me. Then 
a zoom lens, 120 by one, lens focus, manual, optional lens, no, lens shift, no, throw distance, 7.3 by 20.4, image size, 60 inch to 200 inch, throw ratio, 1.41 by 1 to 1.70 by 1. Looks like diameter and width, maybe. Projector placement for a 100 inch diagonal screen. You want to at least be uh, just a little over 10 feet away or 12 feet. This is where I haven't found it yet. It says it's got digital zoom. I don't know. I haven't found it in the menu system yet. Otherwise, it's done by hand where you just rotate the dials. So it's got one for zooming in and out. It just makes your screen a little bit bigger or whatever, depending on how close you are to the screen to get it all sized up right. And then it's got your one for just focusing. And both of them work really good. Nice and tight so it stays where you put it. it does have a little uh, 2 watt mono speaker which uh, actually sounds pretty damn good. I, I watch it out on my front deck and you got traffic and stuff not too much but I got the noise the traffic in the background and neighbors and stuff around and I didn't have to crank the thing and it sounded plenty good. And also, let's see. <sighs> Doesn't get the damn name of the site I got it from. God, Amazon's a pain in the ass. Well, they're probably they may be out of them by now, man, because they only have three left. I think it was like a closeout site that specializes in lamps for uh, these type of things. It was just all projector lamps, anyways. Uh, I lucked out and was able to find a new lamp with the housing for $24.95 and free shipping through Amazon. I think it was JJ something for the name of this Amazon whoever that I went through. Otherwise, uh, there was two or three others that were around the same price range. And it was trying to find one with outright free shipping to where you don't have to be signed up with Prime or have it rounded off to 25 bucks. So this person just outright had free shipping. Otherwise, uh, if you're trying to find a lamp, just keep hunting, man. Hunt, 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 hunt. So I didn't just go through Amazon. I went through freaking Amazon, Walmart, eBay, this, that, and the other. And Amazon just had the best deal. In fact, uh, speaking of Walmart, the place that I found a lamp through Walmart is in not actually through Walmart, but through one of those other entities or whatever on their website. Same company on Amazon, but about 10 bucks cheaper. It's just they wanted shipping. So I say hunt around. They're out there. And on this freaking thing, it this was the cheapest I could find, and it was jumping up to the hundreds for the same damn thing. And on the types of lamps, some of them didn't look like they were the right lamp, like they screwed up on it for the part number. And then the one that I got basically looks identical to the one that's already in it. That's what I wanted was to get the same type of lamp, hence this one's still running strong. And then there was another one. They just had a little bit of a change on the uh, lens for the lamp or whatever. It has to do with the part that lights up or whatever to where it looked like it had a little white ball of glass covering the wire coming out of the stem in the lamp. So that was the only difference I saw on the lamp. And that one, somebody did comment and say it wasn't as bright as it should be to where they were having to have it pitch black to be able to watch a movie good. Which this, uh, not 
real, real bright is I don't have too many lights in the living room. Like, I don't like in here. I don't keep it too bright because I got photophobia. But uh, it looked good even with some lights on. And outside in almost pitch black. It's in that beautiful picture. So, now that I'm in the 10 goddamn minutes, the remote still looks fairly newish, not all beat up. And this is just in very good condition. Oh, that's what they didn't mention on the specs. That's where it's a bummer it's from 2003 and not a little bit newer. Because maybe it would handle a few more formats when it comes to video, but uh, it does have an SD card slot. But it looks like it only handles maybe one or two video formats, and they're ones that aren't really used anymore. I think one is, I think the one it really wants, I think it's called ASF. I never used it so really never heard of it until now and uh, most of the stuff I have on saved videos are mp4 and you can get a converter that you can download to change that mp4 into ASF but good luck finding a free one let alone one that doesn't take hours to do it I was trying to convert a movie on a free one I downloaded in fact uh, I think it's the same company that makes a uh, C cleaner for any of you guys that use that for cleaning up your computer. H something, I think. Anyways, it was going to be like four friggin' hours. Or screw that, man. <laughs> I'd rather just get a DVD player and hook up, press play. Good. And on uh, pictures, is it supposed to be able to do like slideshows if you got pictures? Another weird format that I never heard of. So I think it's just it's because of the year it was made. So anyways, here's the front of it. Let's see, lens cap still in good shape. It's got these nice little drop down feet where you can adjust the length on them. And so uh, my deck isn't exactly level, so kind of gotta get a little tipsy there. Otherwise, you just pull up the levers and they drop. Oh, and on the back, we just, just got a little pad there. Otherwise, on the blue strip there is the cover for the SD card slot, and then below that is the main power switch. Otherwise, on buttons. It's got menu, enter, keystone, which is to get your screen kind of right to where it just tilts it in all weird directions and stuff if your screen isn't quite level, which that helps sometimes. And then input, and then you got your little keypad type thing, like a little thumbstick for going up and down and left and right on your menu, and then your power standby button. Power light, lamp light, temperature light, which uh, this thing does put out some freaking heat. Hence, that's why I got a nice big deck on my place here, so I can set out on the deck, set up my screen, and kick it outside when it's like 60 degrees tops out, and it keeps this from getting so friggin' hot. So it does have a uh, filter that goes in here. Which they say keep it clean, and I understand that, man. You want to get good airflow. Is it's either you got two or three fans. I noticed there's a fan inside around here somewhere. <laughs> Once you take this, dang it, I'm pointing the wrong spots. Uh, anyways, there's the panel that you take off to get at the uh, lamp inside. Anyways, maybe. I think there's a fan right about there. 
It's just weird how it circulates it through because there's the main fan in the back where it blows out all the hot air. So you got me. No idea how big this speaker is, but it does sound good for a little mono speaker. A little area there is where the speaker is. Now on hookups, got composite and component. And then uh, you can use it as a PC monitor. And uh, I've never had anything with this, so I don't know if that is like a special type of VCR, DVD player, foreign or what, or computer. It's a DVI slash D. And then it also will do a S video. And that right there, it has that weird Mickey Mouse shaped plug, which is, it just needed the cord. It's not an external power supply, so it just needed the cord, and they didn't have it at Goodwill. That's probably why this was cheap, which uh, originally it was 20 bucks, but I got it last Saturday on half price day. It's just lucky, man, that it was still there. So $10. But I think that's why they had it for cheap, because there was no way to test it. So I figured for 10 bucks, what the hell, man, I'll take a chance, because you can see, man, it is in damn good condition. Whoever had this just took very good care of it. So, on any other stuff from Goodwill? Nope. <laughs> It's just occasionally, man, I'll look out on just being there at the right damn time. And uh, I don't know if I'm going to go there this weekend or not. As uh, my feet, I I've got arthritis from the neck down, and in my feet it's really bad. So I can't walk around much, but uh, got a big community sale that I try to hit each year. It's going to be going on this weekend. So if I hit it up, maybe I'll find something. Lately, it's just been a lot of miss, man, unless you can get there real early. Uh, Chingman seems to be full of pickers. They hit up these yard sales and buy up anything good and then just resell it. I see a lot of people like that there just buying up everything they can that looks good. So it's just same thing as Goodwill, getting there at the right damn time. So, if I find anything is in Get Out this weekend, oh, this goddamn thing better not be screwing up again. I'm still using this debut video capture software, and it occasionally gets glitchy. I can't complain too much because it is the free version, but uh, it does glitch up occasionally. Like, uh, I'll turn it on, and all of a sudden it's set for like the lowest possible resolution and will not let me change it. Like it thinks I have a crappy camera, so I gotta turn it off and then start it up again on the program, and then it will detect better and be all back to where I had it set. But occasionally it'll do that, and it get like that Max Headroom shit going on where I don't know, <laughs> I don't know. It's like it either works really good or it works half-ass or it just doesn't. But whatever, better than nothing. Anyways, man, if I find anything this weekend, man, I may have another video up. Otherwise, nada. I just don't know if I want to get out or not. Have a good one, everybody.